everyone welcome back today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look right here I had a lot of fun winging this look yes I wing this look the entire time this is a matte look but I am just so excited that I'm able to show you guys this look simply because I use matte products but my skin is still giving you glowiness it's still giving you radiance and it looks just so smooth and even. So if you guys are interested in watching how I got this look, then please stay tuned. So I wanted to come to you guys today because I got my hair done and I was like, you know what? I cannot miss this opportunity to show off my hair straighten but let's get into this beat as i said i've already moisturized and now i'm going to prime today i did pick up some new items from ulta and i am super excited to use these products they are all drugstore products i have some drugstore products that i already own so i'll be utilizing those today as well so now i'm going to start priming using the nivea men's sensitive shaving balm now I'm going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I used to use this in the past and I actually really didn't like it. So one thing I like is that it has a pump so it's, it has that high end makeup feel and look. If you are new here today, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoy and I hope you join the MDD family, you know? We're cool people here. We don't judge. You be you, you do you. Now that I have all of my priming out of the way, it is now time for the foundation. Today I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation right here. And this one is for normal to oily. I have two different shades. I have 335, which is classic tan. And then I also have 322, which is warm honey. Since I don't have a drugstore concealer, I'm going to be using the 332 on the center of my face. And I wanted more of a dewy finish, so I did put my powder on today. So because I want a little bit more brightness in the center of my face, I'm going to use this Coastal Sense Eclipse palette right here. It's really old. I mean, it's super old. And I mean, I guess you can consider this drugstore. I don't know, but we are using it today. And that's just to brighten up just a tad. drugstore setting powder so I guess I'm gonna go have to go in with my good old Morphe so while that sit, sits on my face I'm gonna go ahead on and contour and today I'm actually using a concealer to do this it is the NYX HD concealer and it is in the color cappuccino. I should have done this before I set my face, but I honestly forgot. I forgot. I'm gonna use a brush. So that's how that side's looking, it's okay. So now I'm going to take a brush and dust all of the powder away. And I'm also going to go over that contour and blend it out as well. Now I'm just preparing for the eye look. I'm going to put some powder under there that's going to set, but also act as a eyeshadow catcher. So if you watch my motivational Monday, give this video a thumbs up because I really think it was necessary. You know, I don't know about you guys, but we were on spring break last week and this Monday. Bruh. 
this money was out of control that's all i can say is it was out of control we're gonna go ahead and start on the eyes which is my favorite part and if you've watched my other makeup videos as you know that this orange right here out of this wet and wild color icon palette is amazing and so i love using that as a transition color and i don't know what type of look i'm going for today guys i mean i have no idea so this is called winging it okay this is a real techniques brush i will list it in the description bar below if you ever have any questions about any products that i use please check down there if you don't see it please leave a comment or something and i will answer you i'm going to go into this geometric eyeshadow book and this is actually by elf as you see they have little squares here sectioned off that more than likely people would use to create eye looks so i'm going to go for this quad right here and then i may use that pink right there i'm going to go in with this purple right here but i am going to start a little bit lower it is a nice little wash of of purple it's not giving a lot of pigment but um you know i don't expect it to at least i can't really get into the eyeshadow like i want but you know it's doing something it's doing a little something something here okay so as you see you can kind of see the the color there i'm going to go back in with that orange but on a more fluffier brush and I'm going to just blend that color out and make sure I marry the two because I don't want to lose this orange because this orange is a fire okay so we're just gonna go just a little bit above that purple shine we just applied and we're just going to blend so now I'm going to go back in to the geometric eyeshadow book once again and I'm going to go back into that purple and we're just gonna do this number if you notice that in my makeup videos I'm usually doing a number when it comes to blending shadows a lot so I'm going back and forth in between shadows so I'm going to do this purple and orange you know number a couple times okay So I just remember that I have this Sonia Kushik 4 eyeshadow palette here and it is actually the palette 60. Look at here, it's a mess. I mean, shadows have been cracked. Shadows are all over the place. So if you have this palette or find this palette, I'm probably going to use the bottom right shadow. waterline i'm going to go ahead and place this nyx wonder pencil right here now it's time to do my brows i have not done them yet but today i am going to be using a pencil i know right i'm using a pencil i actually like pencils i had the anastasia beverly hills eyebrow pencil and i loved it i just haven't repurchased it so i'm probably going to be doing that soon but today i'm going to be using the ulta beauty ultra slim brow pencil and I got the color dark brown it grew my brows a little come on give it up give it up give it up So for my inner T 
hair duck i'm also going to use this pink right here out of that elf palette and i really like this pink so i hope it works out to apply my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. These are pretty much the only drugstore lashes that I have at this moment. So the Ardell Double Stack 203 lashes in black. And so now I'm going to move on to bronzing. I'm using the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzer Duo and this is how it looks right here. I haven't used it in a while so let's see how this goes. a little bit we're just gonna bring it down and we're gonna have a beard for a second so now I'm going to go ahead and highlight while that sets and I use this in all of my videos so far and this is the Milani Bake Bronzer in 04 Glow and I just love this for a really nice subtle highlight and you can intensify it with you know setting spray and things like that because you know that's what we're going to do today honey. We're not dragging, we're patting. tip of the nose is my favorite then I'm going to get a forehead and then like a youthful looking forehead and then a little bit on my chin just because I put a lot of powder and product in this area Okay, so I'm going to spray my face and then move on to intensifying my highlight. And today I'm using this NYX Matte Finish Spray. Ooh! While it's still wet, I'm going to go back in with that Milani Bake Bronzer and just go in the areas where I want the highlight to be a little bit more intensified. To intensify even more I'm going to use my finger and we're really going to glow honey I'm a disco ball today call me disky sorry I had to say it now let's move on to the lips so I want to pull some pink out of the eye so I'm going to use this elf glossy gloss and I love the formula it's so thick and rich and it just gives me all type of life and so to line my lips you've seen me use it before this is my milani lip liner in coco and so i'm just going to line my lips okay so my lips are aligned and now i'm going to go in with this elf glossy gloss right here and this is in the color funky fuchsia so I'm going to go over that with, I've used this before as well, and this is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I'm gonna go over it with this lip cream right here, just to tone down that, you know. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed getting this beautiful, glowy look with the drugstore products, and I am so surprised. I mean, not really surprised because I know there are always really good products in the drugstore, but like, sis, this is doing it for me. I mean, oh my God, Milani. Milani, Milani, you did it, honey. I mean, I'm just like flabbergasted in a way. Once again, thank you guys for joining me today and I will see you guys on my next tutorial.